everybody. Scott Sprenza here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, May 27th, 2019. I got a free pick coming up on this report. We jump right back in to our NFL thumbnail sketches with the Philadelphia Eagles. All that coming up in just a second. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, all you got to do is click on the link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. All right, we swept Sunday. Real good day on Sunday. We won easily in baseball, a 9-1 winner with a heavy hitter play in baseball. We also cashed yet again in NASCAR, five-unit matchup. In fact, for the month of May, we swept the month of May with our NASCAR plays. We were involved in three of the four races, and we won all three that we got involved with. So a sweep with NASCAR in the month of May. And if you jumped on board and were wagering just $100, per unit, you profited $1,500 right on the nose. We will be in a NASCAR action again next weekend, June 2nd on Sunday. They go to Pocono. We'll have our plays out, uh, excuse me, our picks up Saturday night, our matchup plays on Saturday night, and we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get closer to the weekend. But a great day on Sunday, uh, picking up those five units and sweeping the month of May in NASCAR. Hope you jumped on board. Baseball, as I mentioned, we won the heavy hitter play easy win by eight runs. That's what we got going on Monday. One play on Monday in Major League Baseball, a heavy hitter. Don't miss out on that. It is yet another side backed by a 100% spot in our situations. We post them in our write-ups over at DocSports.com. And finally, the NHL is, is here. The Stanley Cup Finals, I should say. Game one, the Blues at Boston. We are involved with a big five-unit side right out of the blocks in game one. We head into the Stanley Cup Finals on a 7-2 and two playoff run. And for those wagering just $100 per unit, we've made over $1,800 of profit during in this current run in the NHL postseason. Don't miss out on that five unit play aside on Monday night in game one. All right, free pick in just a moment, but let's jump back into the NFL. We're in the NFC East. We talked about the Dallas Cowboys a couple of days ago. You can check out that video if you're interested. Philadelphia Eagles is what we're talking about in this particular video. And I'm telling you right now, keep Carson Wentz healthy because the guy got even more accurate last time he was out on the field, man, during the regular season. A 70% passer. They've got a great offensive line. They've got depth on the offensive line. They certainly have the pass blockers to keep Carson Wentz healthy. They've got a nice backfield wrapped around Carson Wentz, and he's got great targets again this season. So I expect this Philly offense to be top-notch. I really do. Keep Carson Wentz healthy, and this team could be representing the NFC by the end of this season. You can kind of see what we're going with our over-under wins total. Big reason for that, not just the offense and if Wentz stays healthy, but flip over to the other side of the line of scrimmage and look at that defensive line right down the line on that defensive front. If everybody stays healthy, you know, Barnett, Cox, Jackson, right down the line. I mean, you're talking about a defensive front that is going to give opposing quarterbacks nightmares. It's going to be as simple as that. So listen, I like the defense. I like the continuity of this defense for the most part. When you talk about the coaching staff and the nucleus of the stop unit, I think Philly's going to be excellent on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Now, when you look at the schedule, they've got a couple of weird spots. For instance, I, I think it's October 13th when they are at Minnesota. They've got a game at Minnesota. They've got another road game after that, which is at Dallas. And then they have a home game against the Chicago Bears. So three toughies in a row before they go into their bye week. When they come out of the bye week, how about back-to-back -back games against the Patriots and the Seahawks? The good news for Philly, both of those games are at home. But when you look at the beginning of the schedule, I think they get right out to a 3-0 start with a chance to win at Green Bay and possibly go to 4-0. By the way, they're about a eight and a half, nine point favorite and more in week one against the Redskins. And then you look over the final four games of the season, all very winnable games. So right now I've seen as low as nine and a half wins this spring on Philly. I've seen as high as 10. I think they're an 11 win team, folks. I like Philadelphia to go over the posted total uh, in 2019. Again, over the win total for the Philadelphia Eagles is our projection for this upcoming season. And next up with our next NFL sketches and videos, we'll be talking about those New York football giants that'll be coming up either tomorrow or the day after on our video. So st uh, check back in uh, as we keep our thumbnail sketches going in the NFL until we're all finished up with the NFC. All right, uh, as far as the free pick, we'll get to that in a second. A reminder on Monday, we've got the heavy hitter in Major League Baseball, one side on Monday, and a big five unit play in the NHL Stanley Cup Finals. Game one, the side between the Blues and the Bruins is a five unit play for us. We don't have a ton of big plays in the NHL, but we like this one quite 
quite a bit. We'll look to extend our run to eight and two and go up over two thousand dollars of profit during the run during this. Uh, excuse me for those wagering one hundred dollars per unit. Let's get to the free pick for Monday. It is Texas at Seattle. Oh my gosh, has this Mariners team fallen apart? You know, before the season began, we cut a video and we told you we liked under what was it seventy seventy one wins uh, with the Seattle Mariners. We really felt this team was going to have a rough time, even winning sixty five games on the season. They start thirteen and two. They're just looking like world beaters. They had a run differential which was astronomical. Well, not anymore. They're almost fifty runs down now as far as their run differential is concerned on the season, which shows you how badly this team has been playing since that thirteen and two start. They're now ten and thirty in their last four games. I've talked about this team a couple of times during this complete just collapse and we've said and it still remains to be said that they cannot manufacture runs the Seattle Mariners they have to get a lot of their runs off the long ball uh, their team batting average pathetic their OBP in the month of May pathetic month of May they're like 25th and 28th in those two categories or thereabouts that I just mentioned they're not scoring a lot of runs so I like Texas here to go in and get the win because Lance Lynn is going to be on the mound for them and he doesn't give up a ton of home runs most of his starts he gives up zero if you look at his last four or five starts, maybe one. He had the one bad outing at Houston which when he got knocked around a little bit, but that's not his M.O. I don't think Seattle's going to take him deep a bunch of times tonight, maybe once, and I think they can withstand that. As far as the Mariners, they're going with Tommy Malone, the lefty. I don't like his chances against this Texas team, which is scoring over five runs per game in the month of May. So we're going to back the Texas Rangers, Lynn over Malone. That'll be our free play tonight. They're around plus a dollar ten or thereabouts as I cut this video. Texas Rangers Rangers, your free pick. All right, that's going to do it for us on Monday. If you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column, and I'll be right back here Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. At the very latest, we'll talk to you then.